Welcome for today's Bible study. Today we will meditate on the topic faith. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. In whatever ways if we want to please God, for example by praise him, worship him, giving offering to him, but above all these things, without faith it is impossible to please God. And we have to believe that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 13. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. In Matthew chapter 8, we are reading this story about the centurion and his servant. Verse 5. Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, that his servant is his lying at home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof. But only speak a word, and my servant will be healed. Jesus marveled, and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. In the New Testament, there are many times, we can read that Jesus told the people like, Thy faith hath made you heal, thy faith hath made you free. According to the faith of our limits only, we can receive the miracles from God. Matthew chapter 9 and verse 29. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith let it be to you. And their eyes were opened immediately. Matthew chapter 9 and verse 22. Jesus turned around, and when he saw her he said, Be of good cheer, daughter, your faith has made you well. And the woman was made well from that hour. Luke chapter 7 and verse 50. Then he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Luke chapter 17 and verse 19. Jesus said to him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. Luke chapter 18 and verse 42. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight, your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight. Here we are seeing that faith is the basic requirement to get miracles from God. Without faith, we cannot get any miracles from God. Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. We can receive our salvation only when we put our faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 26. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. When we have faith in God, we will be heirs of God. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith. Our Christian life is based on our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Through the faith on the Lord Jesus Christ only, we can be saved. Through the faith only we can receive our miracles. Our prayers are heard only according to the level of our faith. Matthew chapter 17 and verse 20. So Jesus said to them, For assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. So if we have faith as a mustard seed, we can do anything impossible. Mustard seed size faith means, a whole faith. It is not a small size or tiny size of a seed. Mark chapter 4 and verses 31 and 32, it is like a mustard seed which, when it is sown on the ground, is smaller than all the seeds.
on earth. But when it is sown, it grows up and becomes greater than all herbs, and shoots out large branches, so that the birds of the air may nest under its shade. So our faith should not be the size but the wholeness of the fullness. 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Verses of the day. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 4. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Prayer. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you. Thank you for today's Bible study, as we have seen that our faith should be like a mustard seed. It's not the size of a faith but it's a wholeness of the fullness. If we have faith, nothing is impossible for us. Dear Lord, please give us the faith as we discussed and increase our faith. We commit our lives into your hands. Please bless us and meet all our needs. Thank you Lord for answering our prayer. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we pray, Amen. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment and share.